Well, welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. My name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and this show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, um, I got an email from Randy, and uh, Randy says, Dr. Jeff, was wondering if you could elaborate a little further on the topic of being dry and full for a contest as a natural bodybuilder. As of the moment, I am 12 weeks out and want to dial it in, and I'm told you are the expert. The last week is a little foggy for me. Randy, the last week is probably the most difficult week. When we talk about bodybuilding, we're talking about kind of the, the whole gamma from you know fitness to figure to physique. Um, to me, it, it, it's all the same type of uh, contest prep. And I know so many athletes over the years who look phenomenal one week out and the day of the show, they look completely crappy. Um, so I think the end of uh, the contest prep that last week is the most crucial time. So here's my recommendation as a natural athlete. Um, this is what's worked for me and this is what's worked for tons of people that I put on this product, um, this program. So uh, when you get to the last week, I'm assuming the contest is on a Saturday. On Monday, you're going to start to go no carbs. So a lot of people go no carbs their entire contest prep. That's a whole topic for a, a different time. So don't, not knowing what you did for the prior uh, weeks, this is what you want to do for the last week. You're going to go no carbs Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to have you add sodium Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So use salt. Sea salt is what I, I like um, on your foods. Again, we're wanting to get your body used to taking in an excess amount of sodium. The only carbohydrates that you're going to use are going to be green apples. I'm going to have you eat um, three green apples a day, cut them in half, and kind of space them out. That'll give you just enough mental fuel to get you through those last few workouts. Now you're going to keep your protein up every two and a half hours. Make sure you get a minimum of about 35 grams of protein. Again, chicken fish, turkey. We're also going to be minimizing uh, those fats during that time. Now on Thursday, this is when things start to change. So Wednesday night, you're going to cut out adding sodium. So you're going to add it up to about six o'clock. Wednesday night, you cut it out. Thursday, you start zero sodium. No sodium whatsoever. Make sure the water you're drinking is sodium free. Um, make sure that you're not adding any seasonings or salts or sauces. All that stuff is gone. Um, basically, you're going to be eating relatively bland. Your protein is going to be from, again, your chicken, your fish, your turkeys. Um, no seasoning or, you know, get some of those uh, sodium-free seasonings is what I used to use. But I just ate it plain because, again, I just didn't want anything that was going to affect my stomach or upset. Um, you know, just how you feel after you eat a meal. Now on Thursday, you're gonna to start to carbohydrate load at the same time that you are cutting your sodium. You've been depleted, now you've gotta get full for that show on Saturday. My recommendation is sweet potatoes, yams, or baked potatoes, um, small ones, about every two and a half hours. Don't overeat. Um, small, small meals six, seven times a day. And that's going to start Thursday morning and will continue all the way through Saturday. Now, Thursday midday, um, we're going to incorporate some potassium. We're gonna get what's uh, called the sodium pump working. What happens is, is we elevated sodium first, now we're gonna elevate potassium and we're gonna get our body to push out that sodium, that subcutaneous water that uh, occurs between the skin and the muscle. We don't wanna get rid of the um, electrolytes in the muscle or else you're gonna be flat. Um, so a little trick on getting that out. Um, 99 milligrams 
So about four o'clock, three o'clock Thursday afternoon, you're gonna take two 99 milligram potassium tablets and you're gonna do another dose Thursday night. Friday, you will take one in the morning, midday and at night, and then Saturday morning. Now the only other trick is starting to cut water. You've been drinking as much water as you wanted through Thursday. Thursday night is when you're gonna to start to cut your water. My recommendation is you get a cup and you pee in a cup. Whatever comes out, you drink back half. So you're not cutting your water out completely, you're just depleting the amount of water that you take in. So Thursday night, all day Friday and Saturday morning, when you pee, you drink back half of what comes out. Kind of seems wacky, but it's a very, very good uh, program. Now, once you get to Saturday, um, this is where you now will start to incorporate some of your simple carbohydrates. So you want to get some dried fruits, um, things that aren't going to upset your stomach or make you bloaty and gassy like raisins um, and prunes. Um, I like pineapple rings, uh, peaches, um, dates, good, good sources of uh, simple carbohydrates. You're going to start to incorporate those um, into your system Saturday morning because you want to get ready for prejudging. And this will happen, again, as you're eating some protein, you're eating your complex uh, carbohydrates. Um, then when you get about uh, 20 minutes before you get on stage, you're going to mix some neutral carbolin in your water source. Because again, you want to be drinking water. When things come out, you're going to be drinking that back. Um, and you're going to take in about 50 grams of neutral carbolin about 20 minutes before you go backstage. Um, when you get backstage, um, the only other recommendation is to get some honey and have a couple tablespoons of honey and watch what happens when you start to pump up. Anyway, this is kind of a long uh, answer to your question. But if anybody would like a copy of this, send me an email. It'll appear on the screen and I will actually give you uh, instructions on how to dial in your last week. Anyway, I hope that helps. Take care and we will catch you next time. <laughs>